Yeah, so Voxel 51 does a built an AI platform uh, that lets you extract insights from video. And the key em differentiator or, or emphasis that we have is that our insights are deep insights, so, you know, such as vehicle body type, color, make, and so on, as well as scalable insights. And the reason how we get there is through our, what we call a video first mindset. So instead of thinking of a video as a set of frames separately, we think of the video as a volume of pixels in space time. And in fact, I'm, I'm really excited because what we're here for at, at Disrupt is to talk about our new tool that we're launching today that we call an image to video tool. So it lets our customers take their image models, which they have trained only on image, images, and sort of drop it right into the platform, and all of a sudden it works on video. And we've had, a, we've had an early pilot customer that took two days to do this uh, instead of spending half a year of engineering for video. And it's really exciting for us. That's great because I imagine it's, it's very difficult if you just have a, an algorithm that recognizes a cat because a cat is furry and has ears like this. But then how do you recognize when a cat is jumping or a cat is purring or whatever? Like, that's a really interesting sort of way to come at the problem. Was it more, is it more difficult computationally and algorithmically than normal compu like computer vision? Yeah, great question. So when, we, when you think about video, right, so one image, like one, one frame of a video is on the order of a megabyte of data. It's a lot of data already, one image. But if you have video, one second of video is 30 of them, right? So tons of data to process. And it's the computational challenge of doing it fast and effectively is not only hard at inference time, but it's even harder at training time. Right, so think about how much labels we need to get humans to annotate to, to sort of tell us when a cat is jumping or when a cat is purring or when a cat is eating, things like that, right? So we, you know, we spent a lot of time building our own annotator crowd so that we can be very efficient and effective with how we turn raw data into machine learning models that can then go and extract insights, these type of deep insights such as behaviors like of cats and, and other you know, humans and so on from video, yeah. Right, but it, obviously cats aren't the focus here. Uh, you want to, like you, you were starting with like dash cam footage, right? Is that right? Yeah, so our, our current emphasis right now in terms of the analytics that we build are what we call urban sensing. So looking at humans, looking at infrastructure, and looking at vehicles. And we do it in a privacy-preserving mindset, so we don't do anything about identity like LPR, license plate recognition, or face rec. We want to look at aggregate analyses over what's happening in the scene so that we can you know, understand if there is a crowd gathering where it shouldn't be gathering, for example, and then we get the humans to kind of do the right thing at the right time with the data that's available. Uh, we have to wrap up, but like I want to know what people need to do to take advantage of your new image to video. Um, so, so is it like a service? Is it something for your existing customers? Like, what's how do Great. we do that? Yeah, so so we we develop and deploy a platform, uh, and this platform is either running in the cloud or running on premises with our enterprise customers. The image to video tool is literally is exactly that. It's a tool that comes along with the platform. So if you get our SDK, which is available on GitHub. Uh, open source SDK, there's rich documentation available today about how to do it first. Obviously, we're happy if you try to do it on your own. It should be well documented, but we'd love for you to talk to us uh, and get our solutions architects working with you to, uh, to, make it, to make it happen. Cool. Sounds interesting. Well, thanks for sharing with us, and uh, best of luck. Great. Pleasure to be here. Thanks very much, Devin.